Hi, I'm Lauren Fix and welcome to another episode of The Car Coach. Today we are driving the 2016 Mazda MX-5 known as the Miata. This iconic car is now 25 years old, yet it's redesigned, it's faster, it's lighter, it's very affordable, and it's fun to drive. Let's take it for a spin. had a great time with this vehicle today. Um, I have to say that I didn't know what to expect. Sometimes when you redesign a car like this, we don't know what the manufacturers and the engineers are thinking, but they were thinking right on this case. Easy to drive, really cool seats. They're just made of this fabric like what you're seeing in the new, um, the new uh, office chairs. So it has support both laterally, lumbar, I mean, we, we were driving hundreds of miles so far today, and I'm not having any back issues at all. But uh, there's quite a few positives to this car. The price, number one. The performance, number two. Exciting brakes on the club car. We've got Brembo brakes, Bilstein shocks. I mean, this really is a fun car to drive. Really tight handling. So we've been out driving in the canyons here in LA and we're just taking a quick stop because there's so many switchback roads up here in Laurel Canyon. We want to make sure that uh, we drive safely. Fuel economy so far, doing a lot of switchbacks, about 26.2 miles to the gallon. Um, we've still got a couple hundred miles of driving to go, but so far my initial impressions are fun to drive, easy to see the road. Um, this is the touring model, we'll be driving the other vehicles as well. six-speed transmission really interesting because the sixth gear which is a one-to-one -one ratio doesn't have an overdrive and the still the rpms are 60 miles an hour running around 2500 rpm I, if i had to come up with anything of the negative i wish it had a flat bottom steering wheel that's you know not the end of the world but it makes it easier to get in and out of as far as the six-speed transmission, they did a great job redesigning it with the new aluminum case, new aluminum differential. Uh, everything is really easy to use, very intuitive, so major credit there as well. Uh, as far as the vehicle itself, as far as technology, well, the navigation system was easy to use. Uh, you can see it during the day with the sunlight on it. Uh, the sound system is Bose, fantastic sound system. A Bose makes great sound systems to begin with. But this was just really fantastic sound. Whether you were listening to satellite radio, you were listening to your device of any type, I just think that they did a really nice job. Just the whole redesign. Um, yeah, they could add extra options. Do they need to? Not necessarily. Also part of this redesign is uh, we're seeing a different sloped hood. The rear end is designed differently more deck lid. Uh, as you move the seat further forward, it actually raises you up. So that's kind of neat. Uh, as far as overall, I, I'm trying to think of anything else I would really want with this car. If you're going to buy this car, you're looking at someone who's got extra money. This is a fun car to own. This is not you know, your daily driver. I guess it could be. But you think this car is great for kids. I think it's great for everyone. Anyone who wants to drop the top, it's a manual top. It only takes seconds to move it up and down. Just a totally fun car to drive. Now there is a launch edition which was just released. So if you're gonna buy a car that is potentially collectible, usually the launch edition is the one that you would want. So certainly look for one of those if you can get one. Uh, there is a very limited selection in colors, and I think that's intentional. It keeps control of the costs. The Touring Edition's gonna to have that luxury ride. The Club Edition's gonna have that performance drive. And then there's the entry-level vehicle, which is a lot of fun. But you know what? You don't have to spend a lot of money in order to get an MX-5 in your garage. The 
car is fun to drive without any question. The thing is, it's the best car in the category, but in their eyes, it's the only car in the category. We'll keep driving. So we've spent the day driving not just the Touring Edition, the Club Edition, and the Base Edition. We actually even got to see the race car. This car is a lot of fun, and I think that's what it was really all designed and built around, is to have a vehicle that had a lot of horsepower, that had great torque, tight handling, the ability to put it on the track, you know, the car's 150 pounds lighter. They truly went out of their way to put every single piece and part under a microscope and decide, is this vehicle able to lose weight in this particular area? The wind noise is very minimal too. With the top up, I was really surprised. Very little noise, there's more uh, sound insulation on the uh, the Touring versus the GT, which is the Grand Touring, versus the um, club. The club's really meant for those people that wanted to just have fun on the weekends. Maybe put it on an autocross. What, this would be an awesome car if you were to autocross it. But hey, Miata lovers, you're going to love this car. It's lighter, it's faster. Yes, there's less horsepower. But you know what, they're putting a lot more other things into this car. Horsepower to weight ratio, that's the key. More fuel efficient, 34 miles to the gallon in the city, 24 on the highway for the manual, and 36 on the highway, 27 miles per gallon for the automatic. Sport model is the entry level, $24,915. The club model is $28,600. It's more athletic, improved suspension, shock tower bracing, fill steam shocks, limited slip differential, front air dam, rear lip spoiler, enhanced aero pieces, Brembo BBS package, and that comes manual only on the club model. Grand Touring starts at $30,065. Optional black or tan leather interior, navigation, advanced safety systems, and more. This car is for cruising. Standard is LED headlights, push button ignition, smart keyless entry, and USBs. Comes on 16 inch alloy standard, 17 inch on the club in the GT model. Mazda Connect infotainment system has a, the GT add satellite radio, navigation, blind spot detection, and more. This vehicle is fun to drive. Front engine, rear drive, removable top, compliant suspension, double wishbone. Really handles well, nice and tight. I like the direct throttle response and had an ideal pedal position. The gauges had a symmetrical layout and I liked how the shifter was right there and in the ideal spot. There is removable cup holders, although they were frustrating for the passenger side, but really this vehicle is about shifting and driving and not about drinking water or whatever you put in your cup holder. The new Miata MX-5 is a driver-centered vehicle. The driver sits 20 millimeters lower, you sit 15 millimeters closer, and five degrees better visibility because of the different placement. The design is more modern, has good proportions, a shorter overhang in the front, and a longer rear deck lid. A dynamic design with piercing headlights, modern style that flows right into the interior, and the combination gives you a oneness with the car. As far as interior detail, really love the red stitching and the piping on the seats. Gave it a really nice, pleasant, clean interior. When driving this car, you feel like you're driving a lot faster than you're going. So that's kind of a nice sense of speed. As far as the top, it's lighter, aluminum frame, easy to open, do it by hand. It's really simple. And the GT has that extra layer of insulation over the other models just to keep it quieter. The electric power steering offers a confident driver feel, in corners, under power, and more consistent grip. So I guess you're wondering, is 155 horsepower enough? With a 13 to 1 compression ratio, 91 octane gasoline, it creates a lot of power quickly and is a wide power bin. But adding it to a lighter car with more torque, which is 148 pound-feet, makes this plenty of horsepower have a really fun car. So bottom line, the MX-5 is smaller on the outside, bigger on the inside, safer, faster, and more fuel efficient.
Weighs about 2,332 pounds on the manual, 2,381 on the automatic. Competes with Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ, but they're not convertibles like this. Cross shoppers are looking at the BMW Z4 Audi TT convertible, possibly even a Mini Cooper or even a Porsche Boxster. This car feels nimble and rotates easily on the road and on the track. This is an iconic car. If you're going to have a car that has spirit, that's fun to drive, something you want to have in your garage, take a look at the new Miata MX-5. You're going to love this 2016 model, especially if you've owned one before. You may want to have two, one old, one new. For more information, go to our website. I'm Lauren Fix, the car coach. Follow us on Twitter, at Lauren Fix, and check out our other videos, and check out the CX-3, the Mazda CX-3. We're testing that tomorrow. Thanks for watching.